In 1861, a strange fossil was pulled from limestone in Germany. It had feathers like a bird but claws, teeth, and a long tail like a dinosaur. It looked like something out of a fantasy. But it was real. Its name, Archaeopteryx, and it would change how we understand life on Earth forever. Archaeopteryx lived about 150 million years ago during the late Jurassic period. Only a handful of fossils have ever been found, all in the Zollenhofen limestone of Bavaria, Germany. What made this creature extraordinary wasn't just how old it was, but what it revealed. This animal had feathers and wings like modern birds, but also teeth, clawed fingers, and a long, bony tail, traits you'd expect in a dinosaur. It was a mosaic of traits, combining features from both birds and reptiles, and that's what made it such a breakthrough. Just two years before the fossil was found, Charles Darwin had published on the origin of species. At the time, many scientists and religious authorities were skeptical of evolution. Then Archaeopteryx appeared, like a gift to Darwin. It was the missing link, the smoking gun showing how one group of animals could gradually evolve into another. Here was a fossil that literally bridged the gap between non-avian dinosaurs and birds. Modern scientists now believe that birds evolved from small, feathered theropod dinosaurs, like Velociraptor. Archaeopteryx sits right at that evolutionary crossroads. The discovery of Archaeopteryx did more than prove birds came from dinosaurs. It transformed paleontology. Before this, fossils were mostly seen as static remains of extinct creatures. But Archaeopteryx made people realize that evolution is a continuum, not a series of sharp divisions. Even extinct species can show transitional traits. The categories bird, dinosaur, reptile are often blurred in the fossil record. This fossil fueled a new wave of scientific exploration, prompting paleontologists to search for more in-between species. And they found them, especially in China, where feathered dinosaurs like Microraptor confirmed that feathers weren't just for flight. They evolved long before birds took to the skies. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe. Thank you for watching.